Welcome to the What's Happening Birmingham video podcast. Hello everyone, this is Jarvis Escott for What's Happening Birmingham. Today I have the honor and pleasure of being with Ms. Crystal Mullins Johnson. She is with Strive Counseling Services, LLC. Crystal, thank you again. You're welcome. Part four. I'm so enjoying this opportunity. Yes, thank you. And you all been following the series. Number four is a very important topic today because unless you've been sleeping under a rock or just been ghost, um, <laughs> this week is Valentine's week and Thursday. on Thursday or actually today if you're watching this video um, so Crystal how can couples or singles survive well, and overcome Valentine's Day well if you are single I mean that may be positive for some of you and they may, may be negative for some of you and if you view it as a negative for example these are some things that you can do I think you should take time and nurture yourself on that day. Um, focus on self-care. Um, and when I say that, I, I don't mean to go out and spend all your money, um, emotional binging on shopping or anything of that nature. But maybe you should consider um, getting a massage. Maybe you should go exercise that day. Um, take a long bath. Do something for yourself. Um, maybe you should consider like journaling, focusing on self-reflection. You may recently experience a breakup. Identify, you know, what were some pros and cons of being in that relationship, and be um, give yourself some grace. Maybe it was a great opportunity to end that relationship. So just kind of acknowledging that in the moment, and then also affirming yourself, like affirming your great great qualities because you are great um, you're worthy of being loved a, re a relationship doesn't determine whether you're worthy of being loved or not okay maybe that person just don't know how to love you so just be mindful of that um, and celebrate yourself like take it up a notch put on something sexy ladies um, you know wear red that day okay. um, I mean make sure you're mindful of what you're wearing to work <laughs> Yes. okay but no seriously um, you know wear something that makes you feel good make you feel sexy and that's okay um, you can take yourself out to dinner you don't need someone in your company to feel um, accepted and loved so it's okay to take yourself out um, to dinner and just love thyself. A lot of times we're so focused on loving others, but love yourself and understand your value and your self worth. All right, some things that just came to my head. <laughs> I say come to my head. I got some just wrote down. Um, and this is gonna be some buzz questions. Oh I'm like, oh man, I'm gonna make her laugh. Nervous, Should the person not even come to work at all during that day? <laughs> Like, you know, I guess some people, especially some ladies, if they're like the only lady in the office, everybody's getting flowers and they're not getting flowers. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I, there's no reason to avoid. I mean, I've heard people say, I don't want to see anything related to, um, you know, Valentine's. Like, I don't want to be on social media because it's the day where I see people, you know, receiving expressions of love like if you need to unplug that day that's perfectly fine um, but to avoid situations like you have to question how does that benefit you um, you can go out and buy yourself flowers um, you can buy yourself a box of candy um, there are different things that you can do for yourself but don't avoid going to work that day find meaning in that day maybe you should reframe the way you look at Valentine's Day it's a day um, it's not um, a day that you should demean yourself or you know just be hard on yourself about what you're not remind yourself of what you are and remind yourself of all the great things that you have okay all right, so so you shouldn't so you say you send yourself some flowers. Of course, you, you shouldn't you say from my secret admirer. <laughs> but you know you are. Well, you can put an affirmation on the oh, um, okay. card on the flower, like I am amazing. Oh yeah, that works. Right, okay. right. Okay. I am loved. Okay, so even during that day, 
you know, because some people may be looking at this and say, well, I'm going to go out. Is that a great time to try to, let's just be blunt, this video, try to hook up with someone or try to establish, um, meet somebody new or date, you know, things like that. Well, it's funny you brought that up because I wanted to talk about that. Please do not relapse into those old toxic relationships because, you, because you're feeling lonely. Like, if you're experiencing loneliness, I think you need to deal with that because you don't want to connect with someone physically I mean, I mean intimately, mm -hmm. and then you regret that connection the next day because that can be more damaging than just getting through that day mm -hmm. alone, you know, feeling lonely. So don't, you know, relapse into those old habits and texting people or calling people that you know don't have your best interest at heart. You have your best interest at heart. You have control over how you feel and how you react to situations. So right now, I want you to gener generate a list of things that are important to you and how can you attain those things that are important to you. In terms of, of how you take care of your emotional health, I want you to focus on nurturing that. Um, why don't you write down about 10 affirmations and repeat those to yourself throughout the day? Um, like I said, take it up a notch, ladies. You know, find something that makes you feel good that day to where to work or wherever, where, wherever you're going. And if you want to have a date with yourself or even your girlfriends, y'all you, can empower each other. Why don't you do that? Or maybe you can get with your girlfriends and you all can talk about, you know, some positive things that you all can contribute um, going forward in terms of nurturing your emotional health or self-care or making better decisions um, when you're, you're selecting your partner. Well, let's go back for a moment. It was like as far as texting the ex. Why do people do that? Do people, when people do that, is that because they don't want to cut the cord or they still want to have a line or, or they're just messing with people? Right. Well, I mean, sometimes that person may genuinely be thinking of you, but I mean, you have to question what are they thinking about? <laughs> are they thinking about wanting to experience a moment with you or are they thinking about, you know, maybe I should reinvest my time in this individual. So, I mean, their emotional triggers that create someone to, or their emotional triggers that lead to communicating with someone that is in your past. So, I think there's something that comes up uh, that um, causes that, but you have to decide, is it in your best interest to continue to communicate with that individual? Think about your emotional well-being. All right. Any other final thoughts you want to add? Um, Great no. Day. I mean, I just think, you know, on Valentine's Day, if you are dating someone, I mean, that's a great day um, to, you know, show your love and affection. But really, you should do that every day, okay? Um, if you are single ladies, nothing's wrong with that. Be empowered and figure out how you can focus on yourself that day. And you should be focusing on yourself anyway. And, you know, just make good choices. Don't relapse into old relationships that are toxic and that can create shame and doubt later. All right. So if they want to contact you, what's your contact Sure. Us? If you would like to schedule a session... Well, I don't have any sessions on Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to ask I'm, you that. I already booked that day. But if you would like booked. to um, contact me after Valentine's Day, um, please call 205-721-9893. Or if you would like to um, schedule a session um, today or any day, just give me a call and I will work you in. If you have any questions for me, um, again, my number is 205-721-9893. And you can visit my website. It's www.strivebhm.com. I'm located downtown Birmingham on 3rd Avenue North. Thank you. Well, Crystal, thank you again. You're welcome. And the final part, which is maintaining, well, I'm sorry, we can gain and maintain successful relationships. This last part, so... I know you've all been kind of checking out the other parts, but this is probably the most important part coming up. So thank you all again, and please check out my website, what's happening in Birmingham.com, and also check out my YouTube channel. Thank you all again, and have a great, well, happy Valentine's Day. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching the What's Happening Birmingham video podcast. Please check out our website, app, or subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest videos today.